welcome back to Some Wonder Freely. Today we are exploring parts of Kansas. So we're actually staying at Gunsmoke RV Park in Dodge City, but today we're going out of the town of Dodge City and we're kind of exploring the area. So first on the list is Big Basin Prairie Preserve. And here you can see on the map, uh, we're staying in Dodge City here, and we're just coming straight down to Big Basin Prairie Preserve right here. And then we're gonna cut across to Mead, which is where the Dalton Gang hideout is. Back up to Cimarron, and then back to our campground, but we're gonna make a stop here at the Santa Fe uh, Trail. So it's a nice little circle here with a lot of fun things to do. bison but they do have a bison herd here so whoa a little bumpy hey so so hopefully uh, you will get to see them if you come and visit the basin itself though is still really cool I mean it's basically like a huge sinkhole because we're this area of Kansas is like the eastern part of the high plains so it is all flat around here like super super flat and then you get to this uh, big basin preserve here and it's just this huge depression and then there's also Jacob's well which we checked out so so still pretty cool Our next stop is the Dalton Gang hideout in Mead. This is where the sister of the Dalton brothers lived. A tunnel was found leading from the house underground to the barn. It is not known for certain, but legend has it that the Dalton brothers and their gang used this tunnel. Nowadays, the tunnel has been reinforced and cleaned up so that you can use it to get to the house. Once inside, there are plenty of exhibits talking about the lives of the Dalton brothers and their family and all of their escapades as outlaws. But in addition to that, what was even probably more neat was that the gentleman working there spent a lot of time talking to us, probably like over a half hour? Yeah, easily. I think. Yeah. Yeah, and he was just... He's been a farmer here for three generations here in Mead, Kansas area, and uh, so I was asking him about the Dust Bowl because the Dust Bowl actually really intrigues me. I love reading about the Dust Bowl and the, the stories of the people who survived it. Um, and so this part of Kansas was a part of the Dust Bowl. You have this part of Kansas, you know, the Panhandle, uh, parts of Oklahoma, this whole area was all part of that. So, uh, so it was neat to talk to him about it and to get kind of some of his family's accounts of it and um, also just his perspective being a third generation farmer here in this area and he's looking to retire soon though. Right? He was, yeah. He, he was. He's been here, he's been here his whole life obviously and he said uh, he even that amount of time you don't get used to the wind out here. So he said the wind more than anything, he's, he's ready to hang up the farm equipment. Yeah, he was ready, that, that was right. He said you just don't ever get used to the wind here. So, uh, but he loves the sky here and I can see why. 
I mean, we're just these couple days that we've spent here, you know, it was so open in Nebraska, but here it's even bigger sky and it is just, yeah. it is just beautiful when you feel like you're spending your whole day with in the clouds, really. You know, I mean, people look at it while the land's flat. Yeah, but the sky is the feature here. The sky is what you what you spend your day in. And um, the cloud formations, if it's blue sky, if it's sunny, all of those things. So, um, yeah, it, it was really neat to talk to him. And that's why it's so important to go to some of those smaller museums and historical, air, um, you know, sites. Because those are people who are locals working there, typically. And their families have been there for generations and we've seen this time and time again yeah. that there are people who care about their community and because of that they can give you so much more insight into what the area is actually like and and if you're like us we're looking to experience the culture of the area and get an authentic view of the area and there's no better way to do that than talking to people who have been here for generations so we were really really grateful for that And here we are, we're stopping at the Santa Fe Trail markers. And it's just a historical marker off the side of the road here. What road is this? 54, Route 54. 54, so that's, it's just west of Dodge, Dodge City, City, between Dodge City and Cimarron.